Hello everyone, welcome back again with us at Military TV. As one of the most populous countries in the Middle East, Iran boasts the largest armed forces in the region. With more than 1 million active and reserve personnel, significantly eclipsing all other regional militaries except for those of Turkey and Egypt. It is certainly important to note that many of Iran's forces are relatively under-equipped and under-trained, and their actual weight in modern combat against technologically advanced opponents would be far less than the paper strength suggests. However, quantity also has a quality of its own, and especially in terms of the defense of Iran's territory against an invader, the large force proves a crucial advantage. Before watching this video, don't forget to leave your comment below if you have any suggestions or certain topics to discuss. The possibility of a major conflict happened with the United States since the killing of Quds Force Commander Qasem Soleimani by a U.S. drone strike at Baghdad Airport. The capabilities of the Iranian military are being sharply scrutinized. Indeed, Iran's military arsenal may be no match for the United States in terms of technology, glitz, and firepower, but Tehran makes up for it with tactics and numbers in strategic places. The big question is, how strong are the Islamic Republic's armed forces? Before we talk a lot about it, firstly let's see how much does Iran spend on its military, and how has defense spending changed over the past two decades. Between 2015 and 2019, Iran annually spent 4% to 5% or $18 billion to $22 billion of its gross domestic product on defense. Defense spending was around $18.4 billion in 2019, although the precise value is contested given the opacity of the Iranian system and disagreements over what funding constitutes defense spending as reflected in these different estimates for 2019. The Stockholm International Peace Research Institute estimated $12.6 billion. The International Institute for Strategic Studies estimated $17.4 billion. And the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency reported $20.7 billion. In 2019, Iran significantly reduced defense spending after the U.S. withdrew from the nuclear accord. The reimposition of U.S. sanctions drove the economy back into recession and significantly weakened the real. In contrast, defense spending in the 2020 budget is estimated to be $20.5 billion. The increase amid the pandemic and an economic crisis illustrated the government's enduring commitment to funding institutions used for suppression at home and intervention abroad. Take a look at the charts, it shows the past two decades of Iranian defense spending, first in dollars adjusted for inflation and then as a percentage of GDP according to diverse sources. Now let's go back to our big question, how strong is Iran's military? Keep watching, you will find the answer in the video. Here are descriptions of how some of its key elements work. Missile Forces as Iranian strikes against bases housing U.S. troops in Iraq on January 8, 2020 show, Tehran has developed some dependable ballistic missiles. The strikes demonstrate Iran's ballistic missiles have accurate and precise guidance systems, said Carl Schuster, a former director of operations at the U.S. Pacific Command's Joint Intelligence Center. Noting that the more than dozen missiles fired at U.S. targets did not cause a single casualty, something he and other analysts said was by design, not happenstance. It also sent a message of deterrence because dozens of installations with U.S. troops in the Middle East are well within range of Iran's missile arsenal, which the International Institute for Strategic Studies reports is the largest in the region. A November report from the IISS also notes that any attempt by the U.S. to take out Iran's missiles faces huge challenges. Iran relies on mobile launchers and tunnels to increase missile survivability, and its launching pads are scattered throughout the country. Naval Power While the U.S. Navy has big ships bristling with the latest technology, Iran takes a decidedly different approach on the water, swarm tactics. 
In a highly visible military exercise in 2015, naval forces from Iran's Islamic Revolution Guards Corps used 100 small boats to blast a replica of the aircraft carrier USS Nimitz in the Persian Gulf. Troops aboard the small boats fired shoulder-launched missiles, rockets, and mortars at the Nimitz replica, with photos showing it erupting in fire and smoke. The IISS report says Iran could have 3,000 to 5,000 of these small boats, and the perfect spot to use them, the Strait of Hormuz at the entrance to the Persian Gulf. Surprise, confusion, and speed are essential to their effectiveness, and the confined space of the Strait of Hormuz, which is only about 32 kilometers across at its narrowest point, increases the probability of a successful swarm attack. During those 2015 exercises, Iran also practiced laying sea mines. It was an Iranian mine that almost sank the frigate USS Samuel B. Roberts in the Persian Gulf in 1986. Schuster says that mine used World War I technology, but during the 2015 war games, an Iranian commander said it had developed even better know-how. Iran plays the numbers game with mines too. The U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency says it has 5,000 of them, both new and older versions. It augments those numbers with subterfuge. Iran can employ real mines along with thousands of fake ones, making it very difficult for minesweepers to neutralize the threat, therefore decreasing the pace at which enemy naval forces can mobilize. Air Defenses According to Schuster, the beginning of any large-scale U.S. air attack on Iran would likely involve suppression of its air defense sites. But Iran knows this and has developed its own advanced mobile air defense system with integrated radars and missiles that could even target the highest-flying U.S. aircraft. The system, called Sevam e Kordad, facilitated Iran's shootdown of a U.S. drone in June, IISS says. Since 2017, Iran has possessed long-range SA-20C surface-to-air missiles provided by Russia, according to the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency, which calls the system Iran's most capable component of its integrated air defense system in its 2019 assessment of Tehran's military. And the last point is unconventional forces and proxies. When a U.S. airstrike killed General Qasem Soleimani on January 3rd, Iran lost the head of its military operations outside its borders. But it has lost none of the vast network of allies and proxies Soleimani built and maintained. Those include Hezbollah in Lebanon and elsewhere, Houthi rebels in Yemen, Shia militias in Iraq, the Taliban in Afghanistan, and militants in Bahrain, among others, according to the USDIA. They are armed by Iran with everything from rifles to rockets to drones, the DIA says. And according to some analysts, they give Tehran the upper hand in any regional conflict. As John Chipman wrote in a commentary last November, Iran has tipped the balance of effective force in the Middle East to its advantage by developing a sovereign capability to conduct warfare through third parties. Iran has earned the respect and loyalty of its proxies by surviving 40 years as an outlaw and alternative to the world order, and Iranian adversaries have no effective way to stop these proxy forces. So proxies expand Iran's combat reach well beyond its borders up to the Bab al-Mandeb Strait, which connects the Red Sea to the Indian Ocean and is off the coast of Yemen, where the Tehran-allied Houthis control territory. The relatively narrow waterway can be covered by weapons supplied to the Houthis by Iran. These are waters U.S. Navy ships must transit if they use the Suez Canal to go from the Mediterranean Sea to the Indian Ocean. We conclude that in terms of overall military strength, the Iranian armed forces rank 14th in the world out of 137 countries that are ranked in 2019 by Global Firepower and Business Insider. With some 523,000 active duty forces and another 350,000 reserves, Iran has the largest standing military in the Middle East. 
The active forces are comprised of 350,000 in the regular army and at least 150,000 in the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, which has the most powerful forces in the Iranian military. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great content.